in the previous video we have learned how to add the routing in the existing application but for that we have to make some manual changes in the application and then only this routing will work we can solve this problem by adding the routing by default when we generate a new angular application let's learn how can we add the routing by default while generating a new application so here let's say at this place i want to generate one more angular application and let's use this cmd command and over here let's generate new application so ng new this time i'm writing bookstore with routing this is the name of my application hit the enter button and here is the important part would you like to add angular routing this time i will be using y yes i want to add the routing by default in this application then the type of the style sheet let's say it is css by default let's see what are the changes in this application so right click on this one and choose open with code let's expand this src folder then the app and here you can see we are having two modules this is the app module and then we have one more module with the name app routing module.ts okay let's focus on this app routing module here you can see that this is the ng module decorator and here we are having two array first is the imports and then the second is exports in the imports we are using this router module then the for root okay and we are exporting the same module from this place that is the router module and we have the same constant over here that is the routes and the type is this routes okay so let's say what is the relationship in between this app routing module and this app module here you can notice that we are using this app routing module in the imports array why we are doing this why we have created a separate module for the routing this is basically just to manage your code if you are writing the entire code at one single place then it is not easy to manage if you will create multiple small parts in your application then it is easy to manage and it is robust so let's use the same concept in our application also and let's create a separate app routing module over here let's open one more terminal command like this and here this time we have to generate one more new module so it is ng space g m for module and then the name of my module so it is app routing and this time i do not want to create a parent folder for this particular routing i want to create it at the root level for that i have to use flat in the options hit the enter button here you can see we got one more module at the root level app.routing.module we do not need the declaration over here let's remove that part and we also do not need this common modules let's remove this one also and remove this part as well let's go back to the app module and over here let's cut this router module and over here inside this imports i can use this router module again i can cut this entire code from here and let's paste it over here then in the exports array i can also use this router module like this and let's remove everything from this place so i can remove this exports from this app module let's cut this import section also go back to the app routing paste it at this place so you can see that this app module is very clean now and in this app routing module let's import all the missing part this how it works also this one and now i can use this app routing module in my app module in the imports array over here let's import it from a proper path like this we are done now we have this similar structure that is provided by the angular team while generating a new application with the routing we have separate app routing module save the changes and let's test whether it is working or not so here we are on the browser if i refresh the changes you can see the about us is still working over here if i use this how it works then this one is also working and if i use the default one then you can see it is also working over here because at the home page we only have the header and footer you do not have anything else at this place you have two options if you want to create a new angular application then by default use the routing feature if you have an existing application that does not have routing then you can create a separate app routing module and you can define all your paths in that app routing module and you can import that custom app routing module in your main module and it will work